Pancreatic cancer has been a scary topic in our family because I lost my dad to pancreatic cancer about 25, 26 years ago. He was suffering from back pain. Within two or three weeks, he was diagnosed with a very late stage pancreatic cancer. He was dead in about six weeks. He was 55. Always worried about having it. And uh, we had a bit of a naughty meal, which uh, caused an upset tummy. Two or three days later, I spoke to my GP and uh, decided perhaps not a bad idea to do a, an ultrasound. It cleared me, but they decided to be on the safe side, perhaps uh, doing an, a CT scan might be appropriate. So I indulged them and, and did a CT scan, which also cleared me. One of my specialists, he'd known about my family's history and uh, he convinced me to do a gastroscopic ultrasound. And 20 minutes later, I was diagnosed with a small pancreatic tumour. We spent that entire night completely stunned. We could not speak and we just held each other. You feel like you're drowning in lack of knowledge and you need a degree to understand most of the things. Every second or third word you don't understand, so you have to look that up and next thing you know you feel like you're drowning in too much knowledge. And there was just so much to know and I felt like there was so little time to find out and I felt like we were running out of time. They assembled a team to decide what's the best option for me. I was operated on 23 days later. The tumour, when diagnosed, to the day that it was removed, had doubled in size, three weeks. And I'm pleased to report that he's been completely well with no evidence of disease a year later. We know that the earlier you can diagnose pancreatic cancer, the better the patient outcomes. So if we could help Ellie, we can also help lots of people like him. Pancreas cancer, once it grabs you, it has a mission and the mission is to grow at the fastest rate possible, undetected. We need to be able to detect it earlier and we need to be able to deal with it very quickly once detected. And we need to also reduce the stress. People that have just been given a quasi-death sentence and their families, they have enough to deal with. The last thing they need to be doing at that time is making phone calls and waiting so we really felt a need to improve on the process. We put that to the Epworth Hospital and asked them, do they think they can help us to put together a team of people and a system that can better deal with providing care in a fresh, new way? GPs will be able to, to send them straight into the centre. They will be triaged to the appropriate clinician based on the investigations that have been done and they'll have the appropriate diagnosis made and that's really exciting, something that hasn't been done elsewhere. It's given me a real excitement for the launch of this centre and the things that we'll be able to achieve. What my family and I are hoping to see from the Israeli Family Pancreatic Centre at Hepworth is a real tangible difference to early detection, patient experience and family experience. What I'd like to see is that there is a one-stop place that covers everything, whether just it's somebody to just say, how are you feeling today? Because I, I had to be the rock, I had to be strong for him whilst I was quietly inside losing it. If the Rosati Family Pancreatic Centre can save one life, just one, then it was worth every effort that has been put into launching it. We're blessed. I can still sit with my husband today and hold his hand and, and do all the things that we love doing because I still have him here. And the key to that is early diagnosis.